This video will explain how to import and use a certain type of roof support for a log cabin assembly. Start by going to the library and under roof parts import the part called triangle or the part that looks like this. After you have inserted two of them exit out of insert components. Click on mate. Pick this face as shown and the pin. Click OK to add this mate. Then select these two faces and mate them together. Repeat this for the other roof component. Finally, mate these two faces together so that the roof component rests on top of the log. Repeat this on the other side. Click OK to stop inserting mates. While holding the control key, drag one of these logs out. This will create a copy of it in the assembly. Let go of the control key after you have let go of the mouse. Click on mate. Mate these faces as shown. Sometimes you might need to move the log into place. Do this for the second log as well. Click OK when you have completed this task to exit out of the mates. Go to your design library. Pick pins and drag pins into the assembly. Select a set of pins so that their total length when combined is 50 millimeters. Mate these faces as shown. Then mate these pins into the holes. You will need to mate the top of the bottom pin to the bottom of the pin above it. These pins will have now moved into place. Repeat this for the other set of pins. Alternatively, you can now mate the top of this pin to the top of the previous pin you had mated. Now both pins will be in place. Go back to the design library and under roof parts import the part named quadrilateral or the part that looks like this. Click on mate and mate these faces together. Mate the pin with the hole. And rotate this by using a mate of these two faces. Choose the parallel mate and you might need to flip these around. Click OK when you have done so. Repeat this for the other part you have inserted into the assembly.
can also make these two faces parallel or coincident to one another. Again, you might need to flip them. Now you will need to insert pins into this assembly. So go to the design library, pick pins, and choose the ones that are 15 millimeters long. Insert a few of these into the assembly, then click on the X. Make these faces as shown. Finally, mate it to the bottom of the hole to move the pin into place. Repeat this on the other side. You could continue to insert the other pins by mating them, or you could use a linear component pattern to speed things up a little. Pick this edge for the direction. For the components to pattern, pick this pin as shown. Choose 4 for the number of instances, and enter 28 for the distance between instances. Click OK. These pins will appear at the bottom of this list of parts in the assembly. As you can see, they are grouped under the local L pattern 1 feature. Now, simply repeat this procedure for the other side. Click on Linear Component Pattern, pick this edge for the direction pick this pin for the component, and then click OK. You should then delete these remaining pins. To do this, simply highlight the pins you want to delete, press the delete button, and choose yes to all. Then, save your assembly.